and the market was super hot, the landlord said, it's our turn to make money now. Squeeze the tenant. When the market was super low, the tenant said, our turn to squeeze the landlord. Like, we want every last drop from these landlords now. Like, <laughs> So now what we're seeing is really stepping in. They readjusted the rental index. <laughs> The rental juggernaut, what's it been like for the last three years and what to expect if you're a landlord or a tenant in Dubai. If you're looking to purchase a property in Dubai, there is a link below. You can sign up to our Dubai Wealth Builder program. Let us help you through the process of purchasing the right property in Dubai. Remember to hit the like, subscribe and bell icon. It does something to the algorithm in YouTube. More people can actually benefit from this video. If you got serious questions, you can always ask us in the comments section and we will be happy to answer it. Either I'll make a video for you or I'll answer it live. Let me explain the rental uh, juggernaut and what's been the status of rents in Dubai. Unfortunately, Dubai landlords and tenants have kind of almost always have, have had an antagonistic relationship. It's always been pushing forth and you know, the government's played their part. The regulatory framework has played its part to maintain a balance or a semblance of balance. It all started pre-2008 when we had no rent control, so to speak. And rents were increasing day by day by 5-10%. Imagine in a week if rent goes up by 10%, there is hardly anybody. Well, there's some people who can pay that, but most salaried people would not be able to pay so pre-2008, what used to happen is every time a property was sold, the new owner would try to get the tenant out so that he could raise the rent on the new tenant. And, you know, prices were going up on property. So if he sold or she sold the property again, the new landlord would again want to get rid of the tenant. So we had this extremely antagonistic relationship. In comes the Land Department. Re Real Estate Regulatory Agency under the Land Department introduces the Rental Index and then rules and regulations uh, introduced by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum to take care of uh, the, the the tenant landlord relationship, which in the end stipulated that landlords could increase the rent a certain amount. I'm not going to go into how much, and that tenants had the right to renew the rental contract year on year on year. Except if there were three exceptions. One was the tenant, the landlord or their first degree relative needed that property to live in themselves. They wanted to sell the property or the property was in very bad condition such that it was detrimental to the health of the tenant. In these situations, the landlord could give a notice. We would call it an eviction notice with 12 months period, not grace period, but a 12 months advance notice. Hey, landlord says to the tenant, I wish to move into this property. I'd like you to move. But here's a 12 months notice. Our rental, our tenancy uh, relationship continues in the same uh, vein until 12 months. And then after the end of 12 months, please leave. And then the landlord had to sell the property or move in. So there were conditions, right? That goes on for about 10, 12 years. And then comes the weird pandemic. And in between, I've heard like crazy stuff. Like, you know, when the market was super hot, the landlord said, it's our turn to make money now. Squeeze the tenant. When the market was super low, the tenant said, our turn to squeeze the landlord. Like, we want every last drop of blood from these landlords now. Like, you know, I would I would hear landlords uh, be, being like, you know, being held hostage by tenant. Like, you know, you want us to stay in your villa? Drop the price by 40000 Oh, you want us to stay in your villa? We want. We don't want to pay in four checks anymore. We're going to pay in six checks. You want us to stay in this villa? Guess what? The pool needs a complete upgrade. And we know on temperature control as well. Put it in. And then when the market shifted, the landlords win. Now it's our turn. The house is as is. We're not going to paint it for you. <laughs> We're not going to get you that extra remote that controls the air conditioning in the maid's room. Your maid can sleep in the hot, <laughs> which was crazy, right? Hey guys, if you want to buy a property in Dubai, there's a link below. Click it, fill up the form, get in touch. We'll be more than happy to help you. So 
with this antagonistic relationship going on for 10 years, here comes the pandemic, the weird pandemic. People have lost their jobs out there. They're not getting paid by their companies. Some people had to leave the country, so on and so forth. So in the weird pandemic time, rents got really, really, really um, kind of like adjusted to pandemic rates. And any tenant got into that relationship. Let's say market rent was 100 pre-pandemic, but during the pandemic, he got in at 90, 80, 70,000 dollars per, per year. All of a sudden, after the pandemic, when people started coming back to Dubai and rent started going up, the rental index or the rent control did not allow the landlords to increase the rent by that much. So if you were at 70 and market rents at 120, your landlord could only increase, let's say, 10,000. That juggernaut led to a lot more antagonism between landlords and tenants. And landlords started going to court, trying to get a rental evaluation. Then the court said, hey, after two years, they said, no, rental evaluations don't allow you to increase the rents. You know, nitty gritty, just the way you want to do it. No, that's that's a different ball game. So now what we're seeing is really stepping in, they're readjusting the rental index, okay? And I know a lot of tenants, because, uh, you know, I speak with tenants, friends are who are tenants. They're telling me like, oh, this is so unfair. And I'm trying to explain to them like, guys, you've got to balance the situation. One thing that's good about Dubai, Dubai balances between stakeholders, investors who own the property and the tenants. And honest to God, and I'll be honest here, okay, guys, I feel that Dubai judges, especially in the RDC as well, and otherwise, they're very fair. They look at the situation. It might not be, it, not, it might not state in the law that the landlord I mean, the landlord has, well, landlord, look at the name of the, look at the name of what it suggests. Landlord, right? It come, I think it comes from the uh, time that in the UK when people owned a lot of land and people lived on there as, what's it called? Peasants? Sorry, I don't want to say peasants, but tenants, right? Now we've got tenants. A landlord inherently has more money than a tenant. Think about it. If the tenant had more money, he'd own the property. Most of the cases. Yeah, in some cases, the tenant has a lot of money. He chooses to rent a property in Dubai. Well, that's fine. But in most cases, a landlord has more money. So when we have the weird pandemic take place, uh, and even though tenancy contracts stated that a two months penalty is to be applied on tenants if they break the tenancy, in that instant, the courts made decisions said no penalties on people if they need to leave. It just made sense. You can't be as the landlord and say, no, my contract states a penalty, I'm going to get it. So guys, if you're a tenant, think about this, right? The judges, the courts, the law here is very, very fair. In my opinion, I've seen it very, very fair. So if the rental index moves, it's good. Tomorrow, today you're a tenant, tomorrow you'll be a landlord as well. Think about it like this. Things will come full circle. That juggernaut's going to break, I believe, now in 2024. Rents are going to move up a little bit more and faster. Expect it. Guys, just stop budgeting for it. I don't want to say get another job, but, you know, you know, maybe get onto the property ladder, right? So I just want to make some comments on that. Tenants, get prepared. Landlords, stop harassing your tenants. It's not good habits. They are your customers at the end of the day. But there is relief, I think, coming for landlords now, okay? Um... If you got questions related to this, put them in the comment section. If you agree, disagree, put them in the comment section. I'm happy to hear your comments. Uh, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and bell icon. And there's a form below. You can fill up the form, get in touch, and we can work together. Ciao for now. Hey, guys. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. My name is Fad Daud. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in uh, Toronto, Canada in 2006. And since 2007, I've been based in Dubai and doing real estate in Dubai. Look. If you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.